Wednesday, everyone. There is a live look outside. Beautiful blue sky over downtown Portland from our Unico U.S. Bank Court Tower camera. Welcome to Afternoon Live. I'm Hannah Olson. We have a great show for you today. We all know managing our money is important, but it can also feel overwhelming and confusing. Joining us now to break seven money milestones is the author of the book, How Money Works, Stop Being a Sucker, financial educator Tom Matthews. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Thanks for having me here. All the way from Atlanta and the Masters last week, which I won't ask you any more questions about. We had a nice little chat about golf. Let's talk about financial education. Okay. Financial literacy is something that a lot of adults now are still missing. Well, April's Financial Literacy Month, mm -hmm. so it's a month where the focus becomes you know, how can you improve that? You, you can't really aim at financial literacy. It's something you become. Okay. So you have to aim at the financial education that helps you get there. How do you start with a financial education? Well, unfortunately, it's not taught in school usually. Right. So typically you go to high school and college and you just come out and you know other things, but you don't know that. Mm -hmm. And it's one life skill that you're really going to need almost every day. And by not knowing it, you're kind of at a disadvantage. So we, we recommend that you read books like, we'll give a book called How Money Works. Mm -hmm. And, and things like that, go to websites, uh, attend a course if you can, or you know, read a, a blog, anything to, to try and increase your knowledge of, of how money really yeah, functions. You get your first paycheck at your first job and you don't exactly know where to put all that money. Okay, what about ensuring proper protection? What kinds of things does that mean? Well, it means that, that you have to protect the things that are important. So, you know, you protect your, your car, your mm -hmm. home, but we also recommend you protect your income, mm -hmm. and that means life insurance, yeah. so to make sure that in case something happens. It probably won't, but it might, so you have to be careful. And a lot of us do have some form of life insurance through our employer. Do you recommend going a step further and getting another plan? I do. First of all, your job may not be forever. Right. And then secondly, it may not be enough. You've got to have the exact right amount. Okay. Okay. Emergency fund. That's S tough. It is. Yeah. It is. For many people, they just don't have it because they hadn't thought about it. It's interesting, if, if you have a financial education, you learn some of these things, you mm -hmm. realize where it fits in, and whether you have just a little short-term thing that's an annoyance or some big thing happened, you really have to be ready. And are you talking like a three to six month? You are. Oof, so you have to really be dedicated to put those pennies put away. Put some extra money aside, yes. Okay, little by little. Implement debt management strategies. Well, there's there's two kinds of debt. There's the kind that's, that's good, like having a mortgage sure. where you have an asset that increases. But there's also the bad, like credit cards, that just is an expense, yeah. and sometimes you never get rid of it. Do you find young people just have no idea even how to use a credit card sometimes? Unfortunately, they get out of school, and that's one of the first envelopes you get in the mail. Yeah. And you're so glad to get it, you can't sign it quick enough. Mm -hmm. And you don't really know what's a good rate or not, or good terms or not, yeah. and unfortunately, that's, a, that's a bad for your finances. Even explaining what an interest rate is sometimes, people's right. eyes start to bulge out. They do. <laughs> you owe a lot more money than you think you do. Okay, enhance your cash flow. How, how can you do that if you've already got a full-time job? Well, as you start being smarter with money, that yeah. frees up some money. Okay. And then also, of course, a lot of people today have side hustles and things to, to make more. Because usually that's one of the big things. You've got to find ways to bring in more revenue to, sure. to make it work. If you can find an extra hour in your day somewhere, Something. you can use it to, to increase that cash flow. Find a problem to solve. Some kind of problem, and you can make money doing that. Okay. We're all an expert in something, right? Right. There you go. Accelerate wealth building. Well, as you start saving money, you know, you want to try and get a better return if you can. Okay. Maybe offset the effects of inflation and, and taxes if you can. And those kind of things help you to really start accumulating. And, and once you start accumulating money, it'll get really good to you. And you'll start paying attention to it. Okay. And it'll be something that'll become important to you. Okay. How about fortifying wealth protection? What do you mean by that? Well, you have to protect what you have against all kinds of things. One of the things you have to save against is yourself, mm -hmm. so you don't just go randomly spend it. Sure. But also, you th every once in a while, the markets are down, and then, of course, it, at the end, you want to make sure that taxes and those kind of things are, are taken care of. Sure. Speaking of, we just passed tax day. Do people call you in a panic at the, last c the first couple weeks of April saying, what, am, what have I gotten myself into? They do. Just a lot of things, you know, sometimes you, you, you buy something and you don't realize it's yeah. taxable every year, like a mutual fund. Sure. Stocks are deferred, but mutual funds are not, and things like that people don't really know. What about, know. like you mentioned, a side hustle? A lot of people are self-employed, and do you recommend that they could file quarterly? Does that kind of help with the sticker shock sometimes? You're supposed to. Okay. You know, so you work with your tax professional, and they kind of help you to figure that out. And For most entrepreneurs, it makes sense to put money aside for taxes monthly. Okay. So consider it like a bill. Okay make it part of your monthly billing process. Right. Great tips. Thank you so much, You're Tom. Welcome. It was great chatting with Thanks. you. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com, and we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.